Please stay. I want you, I need you, oh God, don't take these beautiful things that I've... <laughs> Girl, I ain't even... Y'all thought I was gonna hit those notes as if, bitch, this is a reaction channel. This is not a singing channel. Oh, as if. Mr. Beautiful Things, we're getting into his album, Mr. Benson Boone, his album, Fireworks and Rollerblades. I've been putting it off so long solely because I wanted to react to it on the channel because like some people have asked, but I've been wanting to listen to this shit for so long. The cover alone is enough for me to want to react to it. He's literally in rollerblades and there's fireworks. That's magical as f bitch. I haven't heard any of these songs at all besides Beautiful Things and I'm just really excited because I saw him perform at the VMAs and he was doing flips and shit. I was like, okay, like give me a show, give me a flip. Then he, then he gave me another flip and I was like, oh, okay. I feel like the song Beautiful Things has been played to death on the radio, but I'm excited to get some fresh new tracks from him because I'm sure he has other good songs, but like obviously Beautiful Things was like the single they went with. So I'm just really excited to hear like some other songs from him. I know I'm gonna love them because I'm such a like sappy bitch. Like I'm a little hopeless romantic. So I know I'm gonna like these songs. Like I'm not really questioning that. 15 songs, a nice little, a nice little length of an album if I say so myself. And it's 49 minutes and 16 seconds. Tracks that I think are gonna ruin me, girl. I'm taking a look right now. Cry's gonna ruin me. September has been rough. I'm filming this in September towards the end. The amount of times that I've cried in September is crazy. So cry is really gonna call out to my soul and it, it might it might ruin me today on the channel. I'm having a feeling that I'm not gonna be okay. Drunk in my mind. Drunk in my mind is kind of eating that title. Like I feel drunk in my mind a lot. Like I feel like some of the thoughts that I have and some of the things I think are questionable. So sometimes I really be feeling drunk in my mind, even at my most sober moments. So like I'm, I'm kind of excited, excited to hear that track. Ghost Town, girl, I already know Ghost Town's about to be like some family trauma shit. Like you grew up and it's a ghost town and everybody's like a ghost to themselves. Like girl, stay out of here. It's giving, it's kind of giving me Jake. He also has a song called Ghost Town, I think. First track, and it is called Intro. So I'm assuming it's going to be a little melodic instrumental intro. Or maybe he'll talk. Is Mr. Benson Boone like a talker? The lyrics will be on screen because, girl, how do you listen to music? and the lyrics at the same time. If you can do that, you are just a great multitasker and I cannot, I really can't, babe. Intro. Anytime I see intro, like a track that's just called intro, I always think about Ariana Grande's intro. I think it's on my everything. Absolutely destroyed. It destroys me every time. I I hope it's some cinematic shit like that. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Benson. I'm really excited also to listen to Benson because I don't listen to a lot of male singers on the channel, bitch. So I'm just really excited to give him a shot and get some male singers in my life. I'm such a pop girly. All right, intro, Benson Boone, Mr. Fireworks and Rollerblades Man. Let's go. Hmm, we don't know the lyrics for this one. Well, it must be an instrumental then, bitch. I guess I just spoiled it for, my, for myself. Let me take it off the screen. <laughs> Yikes. Spoiler alert, bitch. Spoiler alert. All right, let's go. Oh, beautiful piano. Oh, brr. Do you believe there is a life where it's just you and me and I We don't oh. need a weight We don't need a sign It's only you and me and I Okay He's in love Then do you believe There is a love Okay, Disney Where Channel sound We don't so, Oh my god, okay Okay, tell me what's up. Already in the next track. Holy shit, it flowed. Um, what the f was that? That was so Disney Channel, bitch. That was literally so Disney Channel esque. He's a Disney prince. I'm not a princess, but he is a prince. Like, 
but like what was he doing on there on the intro he wants to go to a place where it could be just you and i you know he's in love he's really in love he's a little romantic he's a romancer all right let's get into be someone didn't know how much i would love santa barbara the baseline but i know that it's gotta be so beautiful Okay, is he speaking about me though? Is he speaking about me because I have a moon tattoo? I want you to call me when it's getting late. You could tell me anything. Alright, you can open your heart to him. This is so soft. <laughs> okay, he can be your son. Alright, he's gonna be her someone. He's gonna be there whenever she needs him. He wants her to he wants her to be excited about him and be excited about this beginning of a relationship, this opening the intro to the relationship, if you want to say. Do you live alone and do you pray? You live alone and do you pray? I'm having a, I'm having a feeling that this man is like religious, also based off of hearing beautiful things. And I think he said something in the intro about you, me, and God or something. So he must be pretty real. <clears throat> Dude, my voice is going out. <clears throat> that wasn't really holy of me, my god. I need to stop using God's name in vain, oh my god. <sighs> Anyways, let me just not say that again. I'm not super religious, so I don't know if I'm going to relate to a lot of like the religious themes and aspects of this album, but like I can appreciate them. Something through the grapevine that I've been seeing Boone is a Mormon. I'm not sure if that's true or not. <laughs> Would love if someone confirmed that down below. I think he's from Utah, from what people have commented on the Beautiful Things video. Um, and I have no idea. I didn't really look that up before this. Maybe I should have. Oh shit. Here we go again. Maybe I should look this up. Let me let me stop asking y'all to do the work for me. Let me just do it. Um, is Benson Boone a Mormon? He has roots in Mormonism. He never really spoke publicly about growing up in the clean-cut, high-hand, demand religion. But he briefly attended a university, a Mormon, univer a Mormon university, before, fo before focusing on his music. Alright, I don't know if he's, like, Mormon or not. I can't figure it out based off of looking it up on f Google. Let's keep- let's continue. <laughs> Of giving me to do you believe there's a life where it's just you and me and die it's kind of giving like heaven vibes or the afterlife it's kind of what it's making me think Hide your eyes and baby it's almost like you need someone i promise i can be someone to love somebody to be someone to sweep you off your feet someone to help his voice is so good This man is gonna have me feeling so soft, bitch. Like, I can already tell that I'm gonna be listening to this in my little lovey-dovey bubble. Be someone was really cute. Like, I feel like he just wants to be her someone. He wants, you know, her to be his bae. So it just, it be hidden. It really be hidden for me. I like it. It's really cute. And it's very well produced. I wonder who the producer is. Let me see. Who the producer, babe? Produced by Jason Sowito? Sowito? Girl, I have no idea who that is. It's very, like, just positive. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going off on tangents here. Let's get into Slow It Down. I never met you, but I wanted to invite you to the party. And you walked in with those green eyes, never stolen by nobody. And they flip. Why is this becoming so f relatable? Like, I have a moon tattoo and I have green eyes. Vincent Boo, did you write this music about me, bitch? Like, did you write this music about me? I'm getting scared. Does he know? Does he know me? Like, oh my god, his vocal range. Piano is caring, bitch. Oh my god. 
reading that little little spiel that I read about him about how he went to like he grew up really religious in the Mormon faith and like he went to a Mormon university I could totally see like maybe he fell in love with a girl and like if they're like you know strict practicing like Mormon religion the little that I know about it is like you're just so faithful and religious and like you don't really date you're not really like dating to just date you know what I'm saying so I feel like if this girl only ever knew Jesus you know he's confusing her because maybe like they had a connection and they they like started to like each other and you know he says while you're you're in your head right now while your world is spinning out like maybe she's feeling like out of control and like she's not following like her religion or something I don't know like this is interesting this is interesting like looking at it through that lens song just has so much like i just feel religious themes in it like i'm not even trying to but like i just i can see them all like let me pull you out you know hopeless doubt i feel like it's a lot of his songs are probably gonna like have connections to like religion and like faith and it's so beautiful too because you don't have to take it that way at all like you really don't have to take it that way at all but it's beautiful because like you can really look at it through every lens you want whenever you listen to music but it's really beautiful how he can tie in connections like that in his life into music like this and can make it relatable also to like a wide variety of people be oh i like how the production slowed down there too getting soft i'll help you slow it down oh that was a nice little touch i'll help you slow it down with the production slowing down and the music getting softer and like slower i tell you what though folks that's bloody nice i really like to slow it down i feel like you know the relationship it's getting like it's feeling like a lot like it's feeling overwhelming it's feeling like you know like you're getting in your head you're questioning maybe like your faith or your religion or whatever or just questioning like is this good for me is it not yada yada and you're just like slow it down like let me take a step at a time you know let my let me let my head stop spinning round and round and just like focus on the moment don't keep thinking stop thinking so ahead and about the future think about this moment right now and like how it's making you feel like let's slow it down next we have beautiful things i've already heard beautiful things but if you want to see my first reaction i also react to the song and the music video at the same time i'll link it up here for y'all if you want to click on that beautiful song i think the radio has just like played it way too much like i it's just like it's not um, it's a beautiful song, but I think I've heard enough of it. What did he say? <laughs> Next, we're getting into Cry. This is one of the ones I was scared of, girl. Am I about to be crying on the channel today? Like, I really, I really don't want to cry, but I'm feeling really soft. So, like, I might, girl, I might. I tried to hide it through the silence while I played alone. I'm welling up behind my eyelids when I'm whole. Oh, so badly I hate it. I wish it all of What? Okay. Alright, we're speeding it up. Let's go. He's not slowing it down anymore. I wasn't expecting him to get like this on the album. He said, no, 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 shut the hell up. Let's speed it up. And I'm pissed. <laughs> he said, he really said, 
I really hate the way you think that you can get away by blaming all your stupid problems on your mental state. I'm tired of burnt out lies. Mental health be real. Mental health do be real, but at some point you have to take accountability as well. You gotta take accountability. You can't blame everything on a mental illness. Like you have to like take accountability for your actions. I didn't know he was about to give a spice like this. Okay, I'm excited now. I'm excited, bitch. Ooh, all right, let me, let me shut up. Why was I not expecting this man? I was not expecting this. I literally am so shocked. <laughs> he really fooled me. Benson Moon really said, we about to be soft as hell on this album. We're about to like be lovey-dovey. No, he really said, go ahead and cry. He's literally like, this song is him saying you without saying you basically. I'm so tired. Same. I'm really tired. Ooh, dude, I love Maybe that part. It has been me the whole damn time. So we're having second thoughts. Cry, cry. Go ahead and ruin someone else's. This man has a set of pipes on him. He has a set of pipes. It sounds effortless. I also love like this like little raspy element that he has to his voice and like his tone he's singing with oh it's just so nice i like it it sounds like really raw emotions you know just like go ahead and cry cry like i don't care if you're crying because we're breaking it up and i'm calling it off but i'm tired of this like you can go ahead and cry go ruin someone else's life it sounds like maybe you know the girly was giving him the runaround or something and he's just over the shit like he's over being like tested and questioned if this is like the right thing for them like he's just over it and he's like you know what's i'm i can't deal with these mind games anymore it's kind of like what it's sounding like to me forever and a day <laughs> forever and a day so it feels like forever but it's only been a day is that the vibes <laughs> girl I started driving through the hills, told me to come and get you. No words convey the way it felt for me to finally hold you in my arms just long enough okay. to know. Is he going to get her back? What is going on, Benson? Your love is such a perfect sound. Okay, that's kind of cute, but I'm confusion. No, the layering. Forever, Sir, what? We went from cry now, I've known you for longer than forever in a day. Maybe he met a new girlie. Could be a possibility. Oh, it's like a soulmate track. I we've sailed the Milky Way, walked on the sun together. I forget those emerald eyes. Hold up, hold up. How could I forget those emerald eyes? Sir, if this is the same girl with the moon tattoo and the green eyes, what is going on? You got me up right now. You got me confused. You literally got me confused, sir. This is making me think about my bae right now. This is literally making me think about my bae. It's like soulmates, you know, you're just, you, you, you've you known each other before you met. And the day that you met, you just know that you already knew each other. Because it just felt so like, I don't know. You can't even explain it. You really can't explain it. And that's like literally how I feel about my bae. I'm about to tear up out here. Oh my God, stop, sir. Oh, your melodies, they're changing. It makes 
me think about you are the music in me. <laughs> Girl, I'm I'm getting so Disney Channel on this goddamn album. It's just it's giving. It's giving softy vibes. It's taking me back to when I was like 14 years old. I love the drum. Da 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 da. Hey. Okay, dude. Forever in a day. So f cute, bro. Like it's literally soulmate love. Such a good way to explain it. I don't know if anyone's ever said that before. I've never heard that saying forever in a day, but I'm sure someone might have already said it and he was maybe playing off of that like saying, but to know someone forever in a day, it's like, it's such a true feeling. Like if you feel like you've met a soulmate and you just felt like you already knew each other, it's like in a past life, you probably were together. And like now you're meeting again for the first time in this new present day times, but it's like you already knew, you've already known each other for forever. I don't know. Oh, girl, I'm, I need to turn this YouTube video off. I'm getting really softy out here. Next, we're getting to into In the Stars. Giving the energy like it was written in the stars or something like us to be together. It was like written in the stars. Like it just, it was meant to happen. It was gonna happen. We couldn't stop it if we wanted to type vibes. Let's go, Vincent. Sunday mornings were your favorite. Oh, I like Saturdays. I used to meet you down on Woods Creek Road. Oh, it's only church where we were going. Now, Sunday mornings I just sleep in. It's like I buried my faith with you. Oh, shit. I'm screaming at the God. I don't know if I believe in. I'm still holding on to everything that's dead and gone I don't want to say goodbye Cause this one means forever A million different reasons You took the best of my heart And left the rest in peace I know this one be hitting for some of y'all. Damn. I never really like had strong love or anything prior to my current relationship, but I can imagine what heartbreak feels like. Cause if this one ever ends, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> because if I would ever lose the love that I have now, I would lose my shit. Like this would be me, like legit. Oh, I don't even like thinking about that. I'm, I'm actually like reading it now. And he's saying like, you know, you're in the stars, gave her $20 for the birthday. It's kind of making me think about like a parent or like a grandparent or something. And like they passed away and now he's like losing his faith because maybe they were like a really important like figure in his life and he loved them so much. And now he's just like sad about that. Like family loss is rough, bro. That's actually, <laughs> I can relate to that. That's, that's tough. I am alone between the heavens and the Oh, it hurts so hard For a million different reasons You took the best of my heart And left the rest in peace Since you took the best of my heart Girl Left the rest in peace Oh, girl <laughs> That's definitely, I think, about losing a family member That hurt That song hurt I mean, like, figuratively, too, like, now you're in the stars, and then the, I'm six feet under, like, technically, like, <laughs> the other person might be, like, the six feet under and... So, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? What happened to her? But it's just, like, crazy to write that line because, you know, it seems like they were such a important, like, figure in his life, and, like, you know, he's saying, like, they're in the stars now, they're in the heavens, but he feels like he's six feet under even though they literally might be if that's if he's singing about like death girl that was sad as hell there's <laughs> another one i was scared for it's called drunk in my mind girl <laughs> that's me i'm scared i feel like this is about to be some sad shit Ooh, I like this be really with me. jumping in with both feet i go so ready to give up my soul 
Oh mm. shit. What? The way he described this happened pretty quickly, jumping in with both feet I'll go, though I can't see nothing below, so ready to give up my soul. Yeah. It almost sounds like jumping off of a building, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think that's really what he means, but he's kind of like alluding to like that feeling, I guess. I don't know. Um or maybe he's getting out of some situation that he's in, I don't know. Which way the river would flow. Oh, you don't chance it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. This one's giving relationship. It's giving, you know, he tasted the wine. The figurative language. The figurative language is gonna take me out, bitch, but it's also like with the religious themes. Y'all can't tell me there's not religious themes in this album. I won't believe you. And I see it. I'm sorry. You had me drunk in my mind <clears throat> after I tasted your wine. Like, you drink wine at church, you know. I don't know if like every church, but... I grew up Catholic, so like that's something that we did at church. I told you I'm getting sober, even if I said that you felt so good at the time. It's giving, it's also just giving like very sexual. It's giving like sex, maybe like sexual experiences and. Oh my God. He's like, like alluding to that with these lines by like throughout, like by through saying like alcohol, but I feel like that's what he's really getting at. Maybe. Maybe I'm reaching, I don't know. But he's getting sober off of her, like, he doesn't want to do that anymore with her because it took him into a place that maybe he didn't want to be. Tell me where the love went, thought that we were something. Voice sounds Could've amazing in this one. Everything that we seem to be. If you my heart, you just ripped it wide open. You must be joking from taking it slowly to crash it for speed. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You must be joking from taking it slowly to crash in full speed into hopelessly broken. God damn. What happened, dude? I need context. I need context clues out here. You must be joking from taking it slowly. Like, we're gonna slow it down because it's maybe it was getting a little overwhelming, like that track prior to to crash in full speed and to hopelessly broken like now we're just like so broken and both of us have been tested in several ways like the hell bro After But you wasted your time I was just drunk in my mind I'm so confused now. I was just drunk in my mind. It seems like now he's putting the blame on himself. This is so about sex. You can't, you can't say it's not. Did he taste her wine and then... He started, it felt great, but then he started realizing the relationship wasn't good, and did he keep tasting the wine? Oh. <laughs> Vincent Boone, don't make me get mad. Don't make me get mad on the channel. He was just drunk in his mind. Was he lustful? Like, I have questions like, girl, this this album got me thinking really deep because of the religious themes. I was just drunk in my mind. Like, did he play with her emotions because he didn't tell her? <laughs> in my mind. Thought it was over? In his head? Just, I was just drunk in my mind. Oh, the way he like ends the f songs, it's like piercing. That song was crazy. Like, he was just drunk in his mind. Like, I think he is kind of getting at that he thought he was in love, but he really wasn't. But he was also drunk on like some of the things they were doing, you know, when he tasted the wine, you know, like it got him drunk and it got him high and like. You know, saying things that maybe he wasn't really feeling, which is definitely, like, hurtful, for sure. I know a lot of girls, like, go through that experience. So I'm wondering exactly, like, oh, I hope there's some explanation for that. Like, I'm 
that makes me sad <laughs> for the girl. But it's nice that I think he's taking accountability, you know, for like, she did some things, but he did some things too. Typical. It's usually a two-way streak, you know? It's usually not one-sided most relationships, like, coming to an end. We're getting into my greatest fear. <sighs> Benson, what is it? I, I'll tell you right now that my greatest fear is, like, probably bugs. Like, I really don't like bugs. I don't care if I see them outside, but if they're inside my home, I start to panic and I start to freak out. That's probably my greatest fears. Got a lot on my mind that keeps me up at night. I'm tossing and turning, thinking that my life's gone to waste. Just filling up empty space. And if there's a God, I don't know where he's been. We used to talk, but haven't spoken since early May. Guess he ain't in Ooh, LA. So many artists write about LA, like, Los Angeles, they always use that that metaphor of like LA is a devil. Definitely seems like not a good place to be. I don't never want to move there. Like, I think I would, I think it would be easy for anyone to lose themselves there. I mean, it just seems like a whole nother planet sometimes. Oh, I'm terrified of the day that I die. I lie there all alone. No flowers on my bones. My greatest fear of all is losing you. Is losing, like, your faith? Like, God? Is that what he's getting out there? Losing hope, losing faith. I, that, that actually, new fear unlocked. I'd be really scared if I, like, lost all hope. I'm a super, like, super duper hopeful, positive person. I would be, I would be terrified if I lost all hope and faith because I don't know how I would continue to live. Like, that's like what keeps me going is like the hope, the faith that like things will get better um, or that things will get easier for other people in my life or easier across like the globe, the world. That's what keeps me going. From a God aspect, a faith aspect, it would be really sad also to lose someone that you deeply love so much, like as a partner or whatever love like you feel as your deepest love you know whoever's watching this like i feel like it would be so scary to lose that person as well i just like oh girl oh girl i actually don't want to think about that right now actually i'm not gonna think about that it's giving billy eilish birds of a feather i want you to stay till i'm in the grave i want you to stay I started to get really sad with that track because like I just started thinking about losing someone that I love crazy how powerful music is and how it can just make us feel so deeply like this like it just like it touches like emotions that like I suppress like I, these emotions within me are suppressed deep down these thoughts these feelings but it's like music can really bring those out and make me want to lose my shit bro like oh my god I did not like that track I liked it but like you know what I mean like it was just a lot Number 10, we have There She Goes. It's giving that song. There she goes. There she goes again. <laughs> Whatever. There she goes. She's leaving again. There she goes. I'm losing her. Oh my god. I need to stop being so dark, bitch. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, I didn't like how he started the song. Lovely Bones. That's a sad ass book and movie. I don't know if I ever read that book or saw that movie, but that's what it made me think about that. And I did not like that. And hold me close, you're my only ghost. Come on, hold me. Cause I'm lonely. And I don't recognize this place. Is it me or have I changed? They ignore me. Oof. Yeah, having new experiences, it makes you also feel like an outsider. Maybe where you grew up as well. Piano, bro. To you. So I 
makes me think too if you are like an if you're like an artist or a musician you have to go like on tour perform do interviews all that stuff like you probably have a really hard time being in a relationship and like staying in a committed like healthy relationship because long distance is really tough there she goes like maybe she's drifting away from him because he has to like physically leave and the distance is rough i don't know oh there she goes out of there she goes was definitely about like he came into contact with this person this girl and she changed his life and it's like there she goes like taking him out of the blue like he was sad he was depressed he felt really alone and it's like all of a sudden there she goes like coming into his life out of the blue and it's like he was never sad he was never depressed he was never alone like he's just so full of life again so positive his faith's back he's hopeful it just like restored something in him it's what it makes me think we're getting into hello love for some reason i want to say it in a british accent like hello love like that's just the vibe i'm getting like i don't know when you look at me with those empty eyes, empty eyes. i could pass away i could bleed and die oh shit oh she passed away oh mm. all right all right, so she's looking at him with empty eyes. I have a feeling this is about to get sour. It's, I feel like he, she just came out of the blue, sir. Like, there she goes. She just came out of the blue, and now she's about to leave you in the blue again. Oh, my God. In all this time, I never knew If you were leaving me or I was leaving you We gotta communicate, bro. We gotta now communicate. We're picking up the beat, we're picking up the beat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, I just got chill from that ooh, ooh girl. I could try to blame you, but my mind ain't safe. Like two fireworks tied to a roller blade. <laughs> I'm still That's funny, like, I could try to blame you, but my mind ain't safe. Like two fireworks tied to a roller blade. Yeah, I feel like he's about... <laughs> It's just taken off. Like, his mind's racing at the speed of light. <laughs> like, so he doesn't really know, like, what the hell is... Like, he's just confused, I feel like. I feel like he feels, like, so many different emotions. I mean, interesting, because earlier in the record, he was saying about how this girl was blaming everything on her mental health issues, and here we are in this track. I could try to blame you, but my mind ain't safe. Like, two fireworks tied to rollerblade. It sounds also like some mental, you know, health going on here. I mean, this all sounds like mental health issues to me. And it doesn't have to be like diagnosable, but it could just be like periods of time where you struggle with mental health as well. He has a storm in his head. Like, he literally has a storm in his head. Is he okay? Okay. I'd give anything to feel it all again. The rush of the relationship. Whew. Not the violence fading out. Fireworks and rollerblades got me a little messed up so far because the he says that it's kind of like I guess his mind's racing at speed of light with the fireworks and rollerblades and he can't stop. So it got me just thinking a lot like I guess like that's what love does though. Like I feel like love does be getting <laughs> love does be putting you in situations like that. Like you just you aren't in control of a lot of your like emotions. Like love is powerful. Love just like <laughs> it you sideways per se like in the good and the bad it's like it's just it's really powerful and it kind of does feel like you have some rollerblades on with some fireworks especially when you're first getting into like a relationship it can definitely feel like that like it can feel like you're like racing you know what i'm saying and it's just like you have no control like this shit is just going oh no next we're getting into ghost town my little small town upbringing ass is about to relate a little too much to this track i I already know, girl. I already know this track's about to ruin me. I took too much and you let me 
If my hand is not the one you're meant to hold Maybe I'd be happier with someone else Maybe loving is the reason you can't love yourself Before it's turn you Oh, the f bro Get the fuck. Maybe you would be happier with someone else. Maybe loving me is the reason you can't love yourself. Ooh. I feel like people who hop from relationship to relationship as well, or like who aren't really ready to like have love and share that with another person because they fully don't love themselves. Like they still have like a lot of deep rooted insecurities and they, you know, still need to do a lot of self-work to feel comfortable in themselves and like that self-love really if you don't have that sometimes it is like really hard to love another person and especially because like your insecurities will get the best of you and like come out um and might like hurt your relationship oh. he doesn't want to make her heart bare I'd be happier with someone else Maybe loving is the reason you can't love yourself Before I turn your heart into a ghost town Show me everything we built so I can tear it all down Down That's sad as hell <laughs> This one I'm just thinking about some people And I'm just like relationship is sounding rocky as hell this this girl i'm assuming was his beautiful things this is crazy where this story is like coming to i'm just i wasn't in not i was not expecting this he doesn't want this relationship to cloud her heart so much and empty her heart so much that she's not capable of loving again love of mine oh sir how are we going from ghost town to love of mine what is going on here where have you been Dude, you told her- you said you were gonna tear it all down, sir. I'm confused. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, when he was saying, maybe loving me is the reason you can't love yourself. This sir- this man is talking about himself because- I'm just bones covered in skin, no heartbeat, only this pain I'm in. Like, he's- his heart is emptied from this love that they went through in this relationship. The- it seems like there was maybe some, like, toxic elements or something to it. Like, he was talking about himself here, too. It was definitely, like, two-sided. It was not just towards the girl. Oh, but darling, you hurt me Literally, I hurt you, but darling, you hurt me, too. Yes. When I'm old and getting tired I get stoned and I get high to try and remember what you're like I know I'll never find this love of mine I know I'll never find this love of mine. Yes, like he'll never find the self-love that he's like looking for. I feel like he lost it somewhere along the way. Whether that's through the relationship, whether that's through like building his music career, moving to LA, like whatever. And like, he's like, where is this love of mine? Like, why don't I like myself anymore? I love, where have I gone? I've spent my days barely just scraping along. Oh, this song, like his vocal has such a chilling, like haunting sound to it. Noticing like in so many of his songs too, like there's a lot of like it could be about a relationship or like whoever, you know, family member, friend, whatever, but it can also be about like himself. I get stoned and I get high to try and remember what you're like. This love of mine. Using the substance to try to recall old memories and just feel like a past version of yourself. Oh my god. Oh. I feel like this album reaction has been going by pretty fast. We're already on track number 14. It's called Friend. My own 
Try to carry this alone. Girl, you gotta Only open so up. much weight my back could take. I'm sinking like a stone. When everything is blue, all I need is you. Somebody, when the world starts caving in, I need a hand. I need a friend Trying to remember what it's like To be young and alive Bootsy, I'm trying to remember what it's like to be young and alive He keeps thinking about that past And he just doesn't feel connected to the version of himself that he is right now I need your hand and that hope and that faith I need a friend this album's about to end like that was such a sad song and i think everyone can relate to that like everybody needs someone whether it's like a family member or a friend a significant other even maybe a pet like some everybody needs somebody to talk to i'd be talking to myself i've never been to therapy mostly honestly for financial reasons to be honest i don't have anything against going it's more financial but <laughs> i feel like i'd be talking to myself all the time like i'm in my room and i have all these feelings and i'm like all right let me just get this out let me say this out loud so i can get it out of my head you know it's like even though it's like my little imaginary friend i'm talking to like i like to f out and be like these are like my little pancakes you know that i'd be talking to sometimes <laughs> y'all about to be like this bitch is crazy as f <laughs> but I'm keeping it 100 real with y'all and being vulnerable. We're getting into the last track and it's called What Do You Want? Slow it down. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? So many things. Um <laughs> But honestly, like I'm okay. As long as I get my basic necessities like food, shelter, and shit like that, I'll be alright. Like I don't need all the finer things in life. He's ooh ooh again and that haunting ass sound, my god. So I ripped away my skin to warm your bones. Oh, I do not like the visual. I ripped away my skin to warm your bones. Ow, I jump gear. <laughs> you could have just gave her your jacket, Benson Boone. You didn't need to do all that shit, my god. <laughs> oh god. What are we doing here? You got me all dressed up just to stop the show. So please, what do you want from me? I can't hold you up much longer. Now I'm breaking in the knees. Tell me, what do you want? What do you want from me? Also, just like the reference back to like the religious themes and shit, you know, I can't hold you up much longer now. I'm breaking at the knees like from praying and just trying to figure out what the hell is going on, praying, you know, for things to get better. He's just like, tell me, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? It's interesting. This line too, you got me all dressed up just to stop the show. I'm wondering if like they got all dressed up to go somewhere just to like break off their relationship. But I was faithful, I was true, and I can't say the same for you. Oh, it makes me want to you want? Was she a cheater? Did somebody cheat? L excuses, right hand on the Bible. God can strike me down if I'm lying. That motherfucker's cheating! That's what it's giving. Okay, change up the production. I'm hearing music moving through me like a symphony. Not even hey, we're free. We're free. Let's go. I like how we're ending like this. Distortion, the guitar. I'm really liking 
this part of the song and i think this is like such a good way to end the album as well like he's saying you know i'm finally free i'll take a walk and let the world burn right in front of me i don't give a damn what's on the news or on the tv i only answer to myself don't need nobody else i'm finally free like i love that because like in amidst of like all this chaos that's happening <laughs> just like everywhere like it's just it's nice to just like answer to yourself sometimes and to just like you have to like keep that faith and that positivity because if you think about all the things that are happening like i said like it really can just bring you into to a real big low point that vocal that was back there was crazy so interesting to end on a fade out like that i kind of loved that song for a closing track i feel like he's finally free and he's just realizing like he has to just like put himself first love himself and just keep his faith keep holding on you know per avril lavigne what do you want from me what do you want for yourself like stop thinking about what everybody else wants from you what everybody else expects of you what do you want from yourself and run with that because if you lift to please everybody else girl you are going to you are going to drown you have to you have to live for yourself like and you have to also be like a respectful and kind human of course to others but like you have to live and put your needs first because if you can't fulfill your own needs how could you ever fulfill someone else's and he's finally free oh i just like i love it i love it I, I really liked the last track and how it ended. I was hoping we would end like on a good note like that. And like, it's kind of giving like that boost of those serotonin levels, just like feeling happier coming out of this blue, this depression and just finding that faith again and being hopeful and finding that positivity and like being moved by it, being moved through the music. It's like a symphony like that's within you. And it's just this movement that's going through you of positivity and good energy and good vibes. That was Benson Boone's Fireworks and Rollerblades. I think my favorite thing about this album was how beautiful his voice sounded. I can't deny that this man has a set of pipes. This man has just this raspy tone that I am obsessed with, with his voice. Also, the production was just very like perfect. It was super cohesive. I feel like um the songs kind of like in that last song how i said it moved in like a symphony i felt like it was very like moving very good storytelling as well faith coded as well like i totally see a lot of their religious influence in this music and it was really beautiful i i you know as someone who maybe isn't like religious like this i feel like it was very beautiful and powerful in this album and it still moved me in a way and i've really really adored the title fireworks and rollerblades i feel like it's just really you're going into the light like you're going 100 miles per minute in your mind sometimes your feet as well and like you can't figure out what you need and like ending on like what do you want as well just like what do you actually want for yourself you know what tune out everybody else tune out all the noise what do you need and what do you want to make yourself be able to thrive and i just really <laughs> babes thanks so much for recommending this album i really appreciate it whenever y'all drop recommendations down below and y'all always put me in touch with good music and i just really liked this album it was a really fun listen and if you made it to the end babes as always you beautiful and sexy thank you so much for clicking on this video if it's your first time here or if you're not subscribed i would really really appreciate it if you became a tot on the channel become a tot in the community and subscribe and just have fun out here on this channel with us we'd be having a good ass time it's a nice little community a little positive fun community we got going out here and i just love all the kindness and good energy that everyone leaves in this community so thank you so much if you are a member as well i always appreciate you and i'm thankful for you being a part of this community that's gonna be it for today babes but stay tuned more reactions are always to come on the channel y'all know the drill and i'm gonna see y'all soon i hope that you have a lovely day or a beautiful night i'm gonna catch y'all soon with some more reactions on the channel later babes